Um, yeah, uh, we knew that was that was going to happen. You know, coach told us that you know they they're a good team. They have good coaches, so you know they're not going to be a team that's going to tr- um, let a player kind of play well against them twice. Um, so yeah, they were you know just trying to get after me um, on defense whenever I was driving. Just make made sure to collapse and you know not really give me any driving lanes or anything easy. Uh, yeah, we were able to get aggressive, um, which is what we talked about off the rip. Um, that's what we wanted to do early, but we were able to get aggressive. Um, Andrew played great. He was hitting all the threes up for us, and Jay stepped up, and Brock stepped up um, while I was in foul trouble. So um, we had some guys step up during that stretch, and um, we were able to get aggressive. Jimmy, why do you feel like they dominated Joe on the paint so much? I know you had some trouble. Um, I mean, they shot 40 free throws on our home floor. Um, we had to play without fouling. Um, and we got a rebound. Um, so those are the two main things that we just got to look at and get better on. Marcus, there's, there's one point I think you all missed 16 shots in a row over the span of the late first half to the early in the second half. Um, you know, are, are y'all aware of that at that point? Is it kind of snowballing and maybe because it looked like y'all had some open shots too, or, or guys just maybe a little hesitant when, when the shots kind of aren't falling like that? Um, I mean, it's not falling like that. No, that's just how the game flows. You're not going to make shots every single night. Um, we ended up losing by six, so I don't, you know, I don't think that was, you know, the huge determinant factor. There's been times where we haven't made shots, and we've still been able to win games because, you know, we pulled out stops. Um, we started hitting shots down the stretch. We just had to do it on the defensive end. You guys were both scoreless for the first thirty-four minutes of the game. How, how frustrating was that? And, and did you feel that? Did you feel kind of as the game was progressing that you were trying to, trying to make something? Uh, yeah, um, it's no doubt that, you know, I didn't play my best today. Um, definitely a lot falls on my shoulders. I apologize to coach and my teammates for that. Um, just try to go out there and make plays in other ways. Um, Tibby was able to get it going at the end, um, despite being foul, in foul trouble and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, not every night shots are going to fall. You just have to find other ways to affect the game. Tibby, what do you think of the atmosphere in Texas Tech? There's so many fans here. Um, I thought our fans were great, um, second and none like usual, um, and we need them in our games. Two laps for the players. Was it weird playing in this type of environment, especially offensively, with, with their chance? It was more like a road game for you guys? Uh, no. I mean, we expected them to have some fans, but uh, we don't really pay attention to that. We've been in different situations like that before, so um, we're just thankful for our fans to come out and support us like they usually do. Timmy, you had a uh, great game against Kansas. Um, I think we control our destiny here down the stretch. Um, we play a couple good teams, and I think we got two more home games. So um, we're just trying to um, control what we can, tr- can control um, and try to win out. Um, so that's what we're looking to do. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. <coughs> questions for Coach, please? Just along those same lines with those guys, did you, did you sense frustration from either one of them as the, as the game kind of progressed, or did you feel like they were trying to make things happen enough? I mean, there's frustration in every game. Part of being a competitor is uh, getting frustrated. You just don't let it bleed into how you're approaching the game. So I'm trying to think of a better word than frustrated. But, um, you know, you're playing against a really good team. It's not going to be all, you know, rainbows and ice cream sandwiches. I mean, it, you know, I had an ice cream sandwich the other day, Klondike bar, so it's still in my mind. But, um, yeah, I mean, every game there's frustrations. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. I think there were some uh, stretches in the game where we maybe let the last play affect the next play. We talked about that. Um, yeah, I think that's a fair statement. Mark said that there, uh, when Marcus had the ball, that they were trying to fill gaps on both sides of him. Um, against that type of defense, what did he need to do that he wasn't able to accomplish today? Well, I think we just... Um, you know, our hearts were in the right place. We're trying to make plays, uh, but sometimes you got to like move the ball a little bit more than normal and let the game come to you. Um, I'd also, you know, recognize, sure you guys saw it too. We had a lot of good shots, you know, we didn't make today. So 
Um, basketball is so much easier uh, when you make shots. Um, and today wasn't our, one of our better shooting days. Um, Jones and Jace played great, but even to their standard, you know, a great a great shooting day for those guys is 80, 90 percent. Um, but I think uh, you know it's not just Marcus either. I, look, man, Marcus is a pro. He'll take your questions and. Um, you know, this is Texas. We have respect for the opponent, and we have class uh, here, and uh, we always have. And so, um, you know, these guys can handle the tough questions. Um, they, they ownership, uh, two of the best players in the conference, they'll play better. Yeah, Chris, I know y'all aren't used to having this 26 to 10 in the paint. Y'all aren't used to getting out like that. What was Tech doing that made it so difficult for y'all to kind of get into any, you know, rhythm or flow down there? Well, they were definitely throwing the ball in to, you know, a couple of the best players in the league. Uh, it's well documented what I think of Marcus. Um, recruited him and had the pleasure of coaching. He's a big time player. And uh, Bryson, uh, RT, had a privilege and honor to recruit and coach him. So obviously a unique game today. Um, you know, you're looking at guys that you, um, that you pull for, uh, other than the time you compete against them. So, but I thought they threw the ball inside to a couple of the best players in the league. Then I think they drove the ball and uh, thought Clarence was a real separator today. Uh, another guy that I had the honor and privilege to recruit and coach. And um, Clarence played great today, uh, was aggressive. And then TJ, you know, was always going to be aggressive. And, um, you know, he, he made some big plays and big moments for him. Yeah, I understand the question, and uh, certainly not shying from it. But when when I get into game mode, me personally, I can't speak for others. Uh, I really don't know what's going on out there in the in the in the stands, um, but on both ends of these. Um, so, look, we had a great showing today. Longhorn fans, uh, Texas Tech travels well, uh, and they have for the last few years. Um, so today, I thought it was a great college basketball game. Came up a little bit short, tie game at half. Didn't like the start of the second half. Certainly loved the courage and uh, fight that we played with at the end of the game. And then just like a lot of times in our game, you make that comeback, now things settle down, and you got to go play some real possessions. Uh, we just had some untimely missed blockouts. Um, I think, uh, I don't want to speak for, for Mark Adams, but I think they won the game with their rebounding today, in my opinion. Oh. Y'all had a deal where y'all were supposed to split. He missed, missed up the formula. Yeah, well, we got a lot of deals. <laughs> a lot of them have been really good for him, and a lot of them have been really good for me. Yeah. And, you know, I, I choose positive, man. Get one shot at this life. I choose to love people and not hate. I choose to, to be positive. Uh, birthday was yesterday, healthy, and, uh, yeah, man, you're not going to get me to go anywhere other than just positive. They don't hand the trophy out in February. Uh, they do that in April. And, uh, we're disappointed we didn't play better today. We appreciate the, the fans, the atmosphere. It's a hurt locker room right now for us. Uh, but we'll be back. This is what uh, competition at this level is like. I look forward to getting on the practice floor with these guys tomorrow and fixing some things. And um, yeah, again, disappointing result, but give the opponent, Texas Tech, a lot of credit. Uh, I thought they had some individual performances today with a difference in the game. No, I don't think so. I think uh, every time you play a competition, the other team, you know, is trying to get something done. And uh, sometimes you got to play off of that. So uh, we knew we were going to have to make some threes today to play against one of uh, the best defenses in college basketball. And three-point shot was good to us at times. We just needed to hit a few more. Well, we lose by basically a two-possession game, hit three more. Um, and Carlos is probably asking me questions. Last one, Mike. Chris, while you're staying positive, now that you're almost a full year into this, um, do you have a better feel of what it's going to take to have what you built at Texas Tech, those fans that travel, that fill up your home arena, that don't make it seem like a tournament game in February? Do you have a better feel for how close you are to building that year and what it's going to take? No, not a better feel. I've had that feel from day one. We did it at Fort Scott. We did it at Seminole. We did it at McMurray. We did it at Angelo State. We did it at Little Rock. We did it in South Carolina. 
Uh, we did it in Lubbock, and, and we're doing it here. And, um, and it's great. We, um, uh, our, our fans have been unbelievable. We've had multiple sellouts today. Our student section is one of the best in college basketball. Um, I can't thank Longhorn Nation enough and our season ticket holders and fans. And, uh, you know, um, no, I thought today was another great atmosphere. And I thought that uh, the Texas fans were great today. We appreciate them. Two games left in this historic Frank Irwin Center. Um, what a TCU and maybe Baylor game. And, um, yeah, I was just thinking about it this morning, walking in, all of my memories in this uh, building. And um, not to get sentimental up here on you guys, uh, but, you know, I just hope uh, the fans come out for these next two games like I know they will. And just encourage anybody that hadn't maybe been to a game this year to come check us out for multiple reasons. But one, uh, this great building that's done so much for for Texas basketball, but other things as well for our state and city and all. I'm going to celebrate this, uh, you know, down the stretch. Thanks all. Thank you.